let's work now together on create user accounts. So human resources provide a list of new hires who will need a new accounts on the network. Use the Corp DC server with the Active Directory to create their accounts using the specified name standards. Login and restrictions are also needed for the temporary employees. So I would suggest stop the video for a second, read through the instructions, and then come back and see how I'm going to do it. So the first step is double click on Corp server, and then we're going to access the Corp DC. That's where we're going to add the new users. Once we are here, this is the server manager. So let's go to the Active Directory. So by clicking on Tools, then click on Active Directory Users and Computers. So over here, click on Corp.net Local. And we're going to start adding the employees. So Juan Suarez works in the Marketing Manager. So click on Marketing, right click on your mouse. And then go to New and then click on user. So let's add the details over here. So let's copy Juan. That sounds like a Spanish name or a Latin name, Suarez. Copy and paste. Then we're gonna add the credentials for the Did I take correctly? Yeah, I did. Okay, next, then we're gonna add the password. So we've got the password over here. So just copy and paste. Paste it again. So over here it, in this box, what it says, as soon as the user logs in for the first time, they're gonna be prompt to change their passwords, obviously for safety reasons. So we've added Juan, now let's move to Susan. Susan works in the permanent sales. So let's go to sales, make it bigger. Right click on Prem Sales, go to New, then add the user, and let's do the same steps that we did for the previous employee, Susan. Enter, and let's highlight her surname, Smith. Credentials for the email is going to be a capital S for Susan, and then her surname. Next, let's also copy the the password and the same thing as the previous employee, it's going to prompt her to change as soon as she logs in. Then we've got Mark. Mark is in the sales manager. So right click with your mouse on sales manager, go to new and do the same steps. Click on user. Highlight Mark. Add it over here and then Barnes. Oh, okay, let me type it. For some reason, it doesn't read. So the login is going to be capital M for Mark and then his surname. Next, let's do the same thing for the password. Next and finish. And lastly, we've got Bori Chan, which he's in the temporary sales. And there's some restrictions for this employee, which we're going to do them now in a second. So right click on your mouse, new user. And let's add the name. Let's add the surname. Let's also add the credentials which is capital B, John. Add the password as well. Finish, all right. So for this employee that is temporary, there's a few restrictions. The first one, the timing that he can use the PC. All right, so right click with your mouse on your employee and then click on properties. And now we're gonna set up the restrictions. So we're gonna go to account. We're going to go to login hours. We're just going to click on deny because we want to have like a clean slot where we're going to choose the timing. So he's allowed, as we can see in the instructions, from 8 a.m. until 5. So make sure 5, it's one dot after the 4. And then from Monday to Friday. So let's double check from Monday to Friday. And then 
to okay so now it's highlighted in blue so let's click on okay done let me double check that it worked okay it worked and now let's go to the end so the next instruction is say set the user account to expire on december the 31st of the year december 31st let's set so let's click on apply and okay and we're done for this lab so let's close the window and let's code it 